Hey folks, uh, welcome to my program. And today we're going to be discussing um, the worst way a boiler can fail, and in particular, uh, steam boilers, um, which are prone to this type of failure. What we have here is obviously a crack, a failure, due to the fact that this water ran, this boiler ran out of water. Um, due to the failure of the low water cutoff to detect a low water condition. And because of the tremendous heat being slammed into it, this is the rear section of an oil, old oil-fired Columbia boiler. And what happened was uh, the heat uh, slammed into it. Uh, this probably glowed cherry red and um, it cracked. Uh, the water level was probably down to there by the time it failed. Um, the most failures, the most re the reason why we see these failures, at least in our area, is uh, my least favorite low water cutoff, the McDonald Miller number 67. And of course, you're supposed to blow it down, and most people do. What should happen is when you should fire the boiler uh, manually and exercise uh, the handle, open the handle, allow the water to drain, and make sure the float drops and shuts off the burner. Um, the burner connections are on these two terminals here. The bottom two terminals should then turn on the water feed, but this is not uh, really, uh, the water feed is not a safety device the low water cutoff is, and that should be done at least once a week during the heating season. Um, and again, it's got to be, you got to make sure that the float moves and turns off the burner. Um, it's hard to do. It's a pain. Um, that's why we like the probe type. Uh, they're a little less uh, prone to this failure. And so this boiler is gone. Um, and the trouble is with a dry fire is when it fails with a dry fire rather than what we call a zombie boiler with a hole above the water line uh, is that this precipitates a catastrophic no heat situation um, at the very least. And of course, this can be uh, glowing cherry red and set the house on fire and do other bad things, uh, which we won't go into. Fortunately, that didn't happen in this case. It just simply... Um, crack the boiler, and that's the uh, that's what can happen. Again, uh, you gotta make sure that your low water cutoffs, whether you have a, uh, a steam boiler in, in 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 particular, or even hot water boilers now should come. Uh, they're legally required to have low water cutoffs even on hot water boilers, because this is what can happen. Thank you all. Um, I hope that uh, this finds you well. And um, do not trust the McDonald Miller number 67. It will betray you.